Hey, what's up? This is Dilio coming to another video. And as you can see, this is the microphone review of the WA-8000 from Warm Audio right there coming at you. And I wanted to make sure that I did not just take it out the box and say, oh, it sounds great. But let me give you a very in-depth review of how this microphone works that gives you this clear, crisp sound that is very accurate and makes me feel like I got the whole Sony C800 thing. So let me just give you the quick very short run of what this does so you see this thing right here this, this make it sound good it's like it, it's shaped like this let me get the logic here the lo if it got if it, it don't look like a regular microphone so you gotta have something strange coming out the bat and it get warm and that's how you know it's working okay that's how you know it's working when see this get warm so it make it sound good right and then you see this thing right here that is shake on that's what made it sound good. And then this, this the thing right there is clear. And then, oh yeah, forget, don't forget about this right here. This this make it sound good. So when this get warm, it, it sound good. And then now nah, I'm just playing. But anyway, <laughs> let's just talk about fro. But sometimes as a creative person, you just want to feel like there's magic's working. There's probably the people that think that. Oh, they look at it and there's some part of the equipment that doesn't look like that makes sense to them. That's the secret sauce that makes it sound amazing. What I can tell you is that this actually microphone does sound amazing. It's a, it's a great investment. It's Warm Audio's microphone. Short story with this. So when I learned about Warm Audio, I know they made like the, the Neumann 87. Actually, I have a Warm Audio 87 in the room as well. And I loved how it sounded and the fact that they took the schematics of the original Neumann technology and then repackage it into a cheaper price that's more affordable I was like man let me try it out and when I tried it out and, and paired it with my LA610 it sounded great this microphone right here though I um I used to try and add air to my vocals on a conditional mic even with the Neumann or the Warm Audio 87 but with this one this one cuts so much that I really don't have to have, add air to the vocals and it works really good with the Universal Audio LA610. Now I have it paired up with the Apollo with the plugins, and it's just sounding crazy. Um, it has two patterns on it. You got a cardioid pattern, and then you have an omnidirectional pattern. So what does that mean? So cardioid means that it's going to pick up on one side. So the last thing you want to do is turn it and face the logo. You know, some microphones, you got to see the logo. Face the logo here and think it sound good. Don't do that. <sighs> Because only one side of it will be picking up. And you have a little switch in the front right there. I don't know if I can show it to you right there. Because I didn't want to hook this all up. And I'll do a part two of some audio demos. Because um, you already can hear it on other videos already. But you see you got a cardioid pattern right there. Cardioid selector pattern right there. Making sure that it picks up the cardioid pattern in front of the microphone. Rejecting everything in the back. Allowing you for a clear sound. But sometimes you want to collect everything around you. So there's also a omnidirectional pattern that you can select. Um... I mean, I plug this thing in and I can immediately hear the air. I was like, oh, I need to clear my, my throat because now I'm hearing too much. And then also what happened when I started working with this microphone is that I had to really DS a lot more than I cared to admit or maybe I was lazy. But this microphone will force you to not be so lazy with your DSing because the sibilant frequencies that come through this microphone, just like how this microphone isn't very DSed right now, will just rip through the speakers. So you have to watch out for the And then this, the cardioid pattern the frequency pickup of this has a notch or a boost a little bit above 10k in the frequency band range give you that nice natural air that you don't have to pump in with the eq now the interesting thing about this microphone is that it also comes with a box just like the sony 800 and i remember learning about the sony 800 back in the day of course that was before i knew i could save up for money save up money for equipment and, you know, it was a very expensive microphone, but it was a very eclectic, had a very interesting look. And a lot of people in hip hop and RBA use it. I was like, okay. And it has its own box. I was like, wow, this microphone must be special. You know, at that time, we don't fully understand the technology. And I'm not going to claim like I fully understand the technology now. But it's like, okay, it comes with its own box. That must make it sound good. And then this thing right here, this tube, you got the tube right here. It's got to stay cool and it get warm. And, you know, you, you hear people use all this technology and things. And it makes you think, oh, that's what makes it sound good, you know. And it's very easy for me to fall into that with this and but that's okay because you don't have to fully understand absolutely everything on how your equipment works interesting thing about this microphone though is that you just can't plug in any regular xlr into it you have to plug in the proprietary six pin cable there i don't know what the name of type of cable that is but it's six pin right there which goes to the proprietary box that's not going to be moved around for the sake of this video um 
but that enables the proprietary powering of the tubes that are here in this microphone. But this, this hands down is my favorite microphone. I'm not trying to get any more microphones, not for a long time. Um, I really applaud Warm Audio for doing this. Uh, I feel like they are doing the same thing Behringer has done with a lot of the eclectic analog synthesizers that's been out that, you know, the main major companies just refuse to make cheaper versions of, which I understand. But however, there's still a market that wants that sound. Case in point, the Model D from Behringer, which sounds like the uh, Mini Moog from Moog uh, without the Moog $4,000 price tag. You know, the Sony the Sony uh, 800G microphone, you know, even on Sweetwater right now, still lists for $10,000. You can go on Reverb and see that it costs you maybe that, north of that, around 20 k for the OG Sony 800C microphone. And it was always a dream of mine to own that microphone. It's like, hmm, what am I got to do? Do I got to just save up eight grand for a microphone? Or do I just hit it big and then I just buy it like that, which I've seen a few producers do. They'd be like, yeah, I just got 800. Man, I got that. That's collecting. The, it's in the case right now, dog. Don't got quite like that. So Warm Audio created this microphone. When I first saw it, I was like, boom, I bought it right there. Uh, or at least started the process of buying it right there because I was, it's just one of the most microphones I was fascinated with. Not only for its sound, but probably, probably how it looks. And I think it looks cool. Of course, it doesn't look like that, that extreme honeycomb look that you normally see from the Sony 800, but you still get something like it. I mean, I think it's a cool microphone. I like how it looks. Uh, this is on a microphone stand, so what I do, because I have different clients, some clients are shorter than me, and, you know, like female clients that come and record, you know, you got to bring the mic down so they can, you know, get it down at their level so they can still get a good connection with that microphone. So I use this, this grippy mic stand here to move it up and down, along with the nice fresh pop screen right there just to get rid of that pop and uh, it's a very great sound of microphone um, it's probably the most expensive microphone I've started to invest in and again it also comes with a nice carrying case if you got to take this with you you got a nice hard case you can carry with you so you can protect your investment along with the uh, transformer box that has more magic and tubes and make it sound good in the box um, that completes the whole experience and it's a fun it's a fun thing. I enjoy it. I don't like to move it around or mess with it, which is why you see it just sitting on my mic stand. But I think it's a really good microphone. I think it's worth the investment if you're interested in this. If you get this microphone, you're not going to need any other microphone. Like, this is it. And after a while, all the microphones, once you start passing a certain price point, in my opinion, all the microphones just sound really good. And then now it's no longer on how good your mic is, but how good the vocals you can cut. How, how well you can EQ, how well you can compress, how well can you market your music. After that, I, once you spend that money on this microphone, it's like, hey, and, hey, the microphone's like, hey, nothing else we can do. You know, you want clear, you can hear everything. And heck, I and I've worked with the AKG 2020 for years and had that thing sounding good. So it's like, but thankfully I was fortunate enough to be able to add this to my collection. I don't want to keep investing in microphones. I want to focus more on making records. So that's what I'm doing. And this is the great... I feel like I have a very great uh, investment here, and it's a fun microphone. And I definitely recommend you purchase it for your collection. If you're cutting vocals on the regular, if you're a singer like me, or if you have clients that you record, it's definitely worth the investment. But if you're not, if you don't plan on using it, um, maybe there are some other options that are less extravagant to go after that will still serve you. But right now, this is my favorite microphone. I definitely recommend it. Uh, for your catalog or collection of microphones for what you want to do. I'm Dilio. Thank you for watching this. If you like this type of con content, I'm at your service. Let me know in the comments below what you like to see. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more reviews right here at Dilio T2K here to serve you. I'm out of here. I'm glad y'all came through. Peace.